It's not every day that a vehicle manufacturer unveils something that has the potential to radically transform the automotive industry. But then again, Christian von Koenigsegg and his eponymous company aren't just any regular players in the arena. The world of hypercars and innovative technological marvels is familiar territory for them. However, the recent revelation of an ammonia-powered engine from Koenigsegg threatens to rewrite not just the future of hypercars, but possibly the entire automotive world. Koenigsegg has always been synonymous with avant-garde designs and pushing boundaries. The likes of Regera and Jesco have made petrol heads around the world swoon, not just with their alluring aesthetics, but with engineering feats that challenge the norms of physics. Yet, with the world steadily moving towards electric vehicles, led by giants like Tesla, Nissan, and their groundbreaking models like the Model 3 and Leaf, the clarion call for innovation beyond electricity had gone largely unanswered until now. Christian von Koenigsegg's announcement about an ammonia engine has caught the world's attention, and for a good reason. Ammonia is a compound that doesn't naturally exist in large amounts in our atmosphere. Still, it's a significant component in the world of agriculture, mainly used for fertilizers. As a fuel, ammonia is intriguing. It has a high energy density, and when burned or used in a fuel cell, the only emissions are nitrogen and water, both harmless to the environment. But why would a luxury hypercar manufacturer take such a keen interest in what seems like an odd choice for a fuel? For starters, the quest for sustainability without compromising performance, electric vehicles, while promising reduced emissions, grapple with challenges. These range from lithium mining for batteries, which has environmental consequences, to the perennial issues of range anxiety and charging infrastructure. Ammonia, on the other hand, can be produced in a carbon-neutral manner using renewable energy sources. Plus, with the right infrastructure, it offers refueling times comparable to conventional gasoline. It's important to place Koenigsegg's innovation in the broader context of the automotive landscape. Major players like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi have heavily invested in the EV domain, unveiling impressive models like the EQS, i4, and e-tron GT, respectively. They, like many others, seemed convinced that the path to an eco-friendly automotive future was paved with batteries and electric motors. However, there's a small, albeit vocal, contingent that believes in diversifying the future fuel mix. Toyota has, for years, dabbled in hydrogen fuel cells, with their Mirai being a testament to this belief. Mazda, on the other hand, has been researching the potential of rotary engines running on a variety of fuels, including hydrogen. Koenigsegg's ammonia proposition, thus, isn't an isolated endeavor, but rather a part of a broader tapestry of alternate fuel solutions that aim to challenge the dominance of EVs. Another compelling facet of the ammonia engine revelation is its potential scalability. While Koenigsegg operates in the high-end market segment, the principles of an ammonia engine could, in theory, be applied to vehicles across the spectrum, from everyday sedans to long-haul trucks. This universality can be a game-changer, especially in markets that have been slower to adopt electric vehicles due to infrastructure challenges or economic reasons. The car industry thrives on competition. When Tesla unveiled the Roadster in 2008, it sent shockwaves across the industry, compelling traditional automakers to rethink their strategies and accelerate their EV programs. Today, with Koenigsegg's audacious announcement, we might be on the cusp of another paradigm shift. Just as Tesla was met with skepticism initially, it's reasonable to expect doubters questioning the feasibility and practicality of ammonia as a mainstream automotive fuel. However, if there's one thing the automotive world has learned, it's never to underestimate the drive and innovation that comes from the house of Koenigsegg. As the world processes the audacity and potential of Koenigsegg's announcement, the conversation is likely to shift to broader implications, especially concerning the wider transportation and energy sectors. After all, the world is moving at a frenetic pace to find sustainable solutions, not just for cars, but for every aspect of modern life. Imagine a future where commercial airplanes, maritime transport, and railways also draw upon ammonia as a sustainable fuel source. Given its energy density and potential for carbon-neutral production, it could revolutionize how goods and people move across the globe. 
Such a future, while speculative at this moment, would dramatically alter geopolitics and economies centered on fossil fuel production and distribution. Christian's vision, however, won't be the only driving factor. Public acceptance, government policies, and collaborations with other industries, especially energy and infrastructure, will be pivotal. Ammonia, while promising, has its quirks. Being toxic and corrosive, it presents unique challenges in storage and transportation that the industry needs to address. This is where partnerships with energy giants and research institutions become paramount. By pooling resources, knowledge, and expertise, the daunting task of establishing a global ammonia economy becomes more feasible. Yet, the essence of innovation is not just in its conception, but in its execution. Several alternative fuels have been proposed over the years, and many have faded into obscurity because they couldn't transcend the barriers of cost, practicality, or societal acceptance. What Koenigsegg has, beyond its technical prowess, is the brand allure. The halo effect that a luxury hypercar manufacturer brings can catapult an idea from the fringes to the mainstream. We've witnessed this with Tesla's transformation of the public perception of EVs from unexciting, niche products to desirable, high-performance machines. Beyond the automobile sector, competitors in various industries will be keenly watching the ammonia narrative unfold. For instance, battery manufacturers and associated industries might see this as a potential threat or an area to diversify into. Then there are the oil and gas giants, who, despite their forays into renewable energy, still have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo. They might view ammonia with skepticism, seeing it as another challenge to their dominance, or they might see it as an opportunity for evolution, aligning their vast resources and infrastructure to support this new vision for transportation. The tech and green energy sectors have seen unprecedented growth over the past decade. Companies that align themselves with sustainable solutions, especially those that challenge established norms, become attractive investment propositions. We might soon witness a surge of startups and businesses focused on different facets of the ammonia economy, be it refining the engine technology, creating efficient storage solutions, or developing a rapid and safe refueling mechanism. However, it's not just about the technicalities. There's a cultural and social dimension to this. The narrative of climate change and the urgency to transition to greener alternatives has been central to global discourse. As the world grapples with these pressing concerns, Innovations like the ammonia engine offer a beacon of hope. They become emblematic of humanity's resilience and our ability to innovate our way out of crises. For the average person, this isn't just about cars. It's a statement about the kind of world they envision for their children and grandchildren. Car enthusiasts, on the other hand, might find themselves in heated debates. For years, the roar of a gasoline engine was synonymous with power, thrill, and freedom. The silent hum of electric vehicles disrupted this perception, carving out its own niche of fans. With the introduction of an ammonia engine, the dynamics shift yet again. It brings forth questions about the soul of a car, the visceral experiences associated with driving, and how these evolve in tandem with technological advancements. Another facet to consider is the geopolitical implication. Countries rich in fossil fuels have historically held significant power on the global stage. The pivot to electric vehicles had already begun reshuffling this deck, and the introduction of ammonia as a fuel might add another layer of complexity. Nations that can efficiently produce and export green ammonia might find themselves wielding increased influence in global politics. To the naysayers and skeptics, this might seem like an overly optimistic vision of the future, a hyperbolic response to a single announcement. But history is replete with instances where a single spark of innovation, backed by determination and vision, has ushered in paradigm shifts. The Wright brothers' first flight, the unveiling of Apple's iPhone, or the launch of SpaceX's Falcon 1, all were moments that defied conventions and set the stage for a new era. As the chapters of this ammonia-fueled narrative unfold, there will be successes and setbacks, celebrations and critiques, but irrespective of the outcome, this moment serves as a reminder that the journey of innovation is relentless, unpredictable, and always exhilarating. As Christian von Koenigsegg has aptly demonstrated, the future, in all its uncertainty and promise, is a canvas waiting for bold visionaries to paint their masterstrokes. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. 
Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.